Hello and welcome. So today we're going to start learning um, how to use Python using Solo Learn. Now we've come quite a long way with our Python skills, but it's not a bad idea just to go back and revisit a few of them. And Solo Learn allows us to do that. It allows us to kind of capture some knowledge and move forward with that knowledge and try out some experiments. Um, sometimes along the way it's easy to forget how much or how little we know. So it's, it's quite nice to kind of reflect on it. And um, Solo Learn allows us to do that. It has lots of quizzes and it tracks progress and it gives you badges and it gives you XP. So we're gonna just have a little look. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, show you how to get started and um, we'll go from there and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's head on over to the web browser. So this is just um, a web browser. This is on a Mac. It will work on um, a Windows machine, it will work on any kind of desktop computer just by going to the web browser. So I'm in Safari here, so it might look slightly different depending on the browser that you're using. One of the other things that's good about Solo Learn is it does have um, apps as well. So if you've got the Google Play or an Android, you can use this one. If you've got a Chrome, you can use also use this one. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, you can use this link and download the app, which is absolutely great. Now just keep in mind that some of the interfaces will look slightly different. So I'll try and walk through this the best way I know how. Now when you're signing up for this, you will want to sign up with your Google school account. So don't sign up with your personal account, make sure you sign up with your school account. And the program of study we're going to be looking at is this one here that says Python 3. So the first thing you want to do, and once again it will look slightly different if, you, if you're using the app, so you might have to kind of work things out for yourself, but if you're using the if you're using the web browser it should look like this. So you press the sign up button. So once you're in here, rather than filling in all the email and stuff, you can just click on the sign in with Google. And once again, just add your school credentials. So your school email, your school password, and that will instantly set everything up for you. And it's the same with the apps as well. Just click on the Google Plus button and it will set everything up, okay? So I'm not gonna do that. I've already got a window set up. So if you wanna pause the video now, and as we go through this, if you wanna pause the video, just do that, try out some of the stuff, and, and then you can restart the video. So sign up with your school account, and then let's move on. So now I'm into it, it tells me I've got my profile, and you can go into the profile area. Now the good thing about the profile area is as you complete lessons, as you complete tutorials, it will give you an XP. And it's this XP that we're going to be tracking. So when you do your screenshot, I want to very clearly see how much XP you've got. Okay, see how much you, you've actually achieved. Because what you can do with this is if you get a hint, or if you get some extra help, it will actually take XP away from you. So it's a really nice way of seeing how much help you, you got and how much help you needed. Um, and then hopefully you guys will get you know some really nice XP. And as you go through, you'll also get some badges as well. So I've already got a couple of badges here, but we're gonna try and achieve all these. I'm gonna work through this with you and try and try and get all the badges with you and see who, who scores the highest XP. So now we're in, all we need to do now is go to the courses area. We can start our program of study. Now for me, the Python one comes up at the top. I believe that's the same for all of you, but if it isn't, just scroll through all their courses until you find the Python free. Now, SolarLearn does have adverts, especially on the app, There's, there are a few adverts. You can skip through that. There's also a pro plan. Just skip through that. You do not need to sign up for any subscription. You do not need to pay any money. This Python 3.1 is completely free. So don't enter any credit card details or anything like that. You do not need to, okay? Um, I had a couple of times where it did that to me, but you, you, you don't need it. Just kind of find a way around that. So let's click on the Python free tutorials. And what I'm gonna do is you have this blanket one and this, this doesn't actually look very very similar to, to what you guys are using. So what I'm gonna do now, if you're using the app that is, what I'm gonna do now is click on this one here that says learn on the web. And you're more than welcome to click for any of these. This is the whole program of study. Now week one, 
we're probably just going to be looking at module one i suspect for a lot of you this will take two weeks and that's absolutely fine at the end of each week i just want you to upload a screenshot of your progress that's it if you manage to do a whole module great if you don't manage to do a whole module if that takes you two weeks that's absolutely fine it really doesn't i'm, I'm not worried about that i just want you to have a go and and try and work this stuff out and there, there is loads here so we're going to try and do this for the next five or six weeks so there is absolutely loads here for us to work through so let's click on this learn on the web and it will take you to the interface now this interface looks more like the one that you'll have on your on your app so you've got your xp here when you do your screenshot make sure you include the xp and then you've got your pathway pathway we're looking at today and probably for this week and next week is this one here basic concepts um, and I actually don't think you can very easily skip through these so just click on the basic concepts and you'll start working through now there are 12 lessons here and then there's a module quiz you will need to do the explanations in order to complete the module quiz so just just kind of keep that in mind as you can see i've gone through this today and i've completed a few and they are fairly fairly simple but i'm gonna i'm gonna walk you through especially the first few so what you're going to want to do is read the content um a lot of my students in the past just kind of skip this content so you know you, you kind of do need to read it and every time you go through one and you press the next button it will give you it will give you a multiple choice quiz. So the first one is, okay, what is Python? So we can say it's a programming language and then we can move on and that's correct. Um, then it says what, what the ins installation is. So once we've read this content, we can then click on the next button. We say, ah, which one is it now? This one is um, C Python. So we can just press okay and it gives us that. So that was fairly easy. I mean, it, it can be quite wordy so it might take you longer than the recommended hour a week to kind of complete this whole module and that's once again that's absolutely fine it takes you as long as it takes you now as you go through this you're also going to want to try out some of the examples now on the early stages it does give you this try it for yourself button which is great it opens up an editor but if you don't see this button what you can do is you can press on these three lines here and then you can go to code playground. Now, if I do it this way, this is kind of like the hardest way of doing it. But if I if I show you this way first, it'll kind of help you out. So you're in the code playground, you press the new code button, and then it brings up the code editor. Now, initially it brings it up in the HTML editor, and obviously this isn't what we want. So we're just gonna change it from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and we're gonna change it to Python okay and and that's literally all you need to do and then you're in the environment so let me go back and i'll show you the other way just because um there are two ways of getting to this screen so leave this page leave this page and now we just press the try it for yourself now the try it yourself button if you just leave this open as you work through all the courses it's, it does it all for you which is great and you can edit this um, you can just say hello or you can add more comments you can add more lines of code which is absolutely great and then you can press save if you want but if you press the run button it will output all the information here so you just press run and then it will print hello and, and you're good to go so the first few lessons are fairly basic um, but it does progress so just make sure you read the content as you go through so I'm going to leave the playground open so I can do so I can edit my code and I can play around with it. And as you go through it, you are gonna to wanna to actually play around with the code that the snippets that they give you. So let's close this. Um, so we can read through it. We can press the next button and then we're back onto the quiz. So it says here, fill in the blanks to print high. So in order to print high, we're just gonna type in the word print. We're gonna press plus and then we're awaited onto the next one. So the next one here, it says the print statement can also be used to output multiple lines of text. For example, print hello world, print hello world, <laughs> print, print spam and eggs. Um, also you have these yellow comments as well. Um, once again, the yellow comments do give you some, some nice information that you're gonna to wanna to read as well. And if you want, I mean, these ones here with the, the arrows, they actually won't work in the playground. So if you want to try this out, if you want to say, okay, let's, let's try this, you can actually just copy the print statement. You can come over to here, you can paste it in, and then you can run it over on this side. 
Give it a couple of seconds and then we have the hello from the line one and then we have the spam and eggs from the line three. Um, and that's a really great way of testing out to see if thing, things work and you can obviously change the code as you want to. Um, so once we've done that, we press the plus button and then it says fill in the blanks to output this bit of nin nin nin. So we say print and then it's telling us we've got another bit here. So what are we missing at the end? We're missing a bracket. So we press the play button and we're away and we're on to the next one. And you can see all the time I'm accumulating XP, which is great. Now I think that's pretty much it. So when, once you've finished a lesson, um, this is the area that I want you to screenshot. So I want you to include this header here. So let me just do a quick screenshot here to show you what I want. I want this bit here and it shows me the amount of XP that you've got and it also shows me what you've completed. So if I just open this, and here's my screenshot. So this is what I'm, I want from you guys. I just want to know what XP you got and how many of these you completed. And once again, I'm not, I'm not really too worried if you don't manage to get everything done in one week. Um, as long as you're playing around with the code, as long as you're testing it, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. If this takes you two weeks to, to complete that, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, I think that's pretty much it from Solo Learn. Pretty much. If there's any questions, if you give me a comment in the classroom, that'd be really useful. And I can kind of do more of these videos and I can kind of try and answer some questions as we go through. Um, these videos should be a good way of us kind of touching base each week and we'll see how they go. So chuck me some questions, I'll try and answer them either in videos or I'll comment back to you. But it would be really nice to hear any problems that you're having, especially if you're you're struggling to set this up or download the app or use the web browser. Um, make sure you read the content, make sure you try out the experiment. So type out the code, try it out, give it your best shot. Uh, let me know how you get on and I'll see you next week for more. Okay, see you later guys.